we type cluster omega when we type cl cluster omega uh, we go for the first one okay ebi.ac.uk all right so uh, this is your multiple sequence alignment here third you have your protein so you can select protein dna or rna whichever sequence we are aligning in our case we are aligning protein so we'll stick to protein now we have to enter all the sequences now um, let's try and understand and analyze how to enter the sequence okay. so this is your query sequence and the top five hits uh, for all the five hits okay open all the five hits in genbank so go to the accession number okay and open all these sequences right open all these sequences all right um, yeah so the gen bank for all these sequences uh, will be uh, open uh, now what you have to do is you have to go to the faster sequence all right so you click on faster so now the faster sequence will open similarly for this click on faster uh, it will take time for few of you it will take it will open very fast depending on how your internet speed is okay um, so we have faster sequence for all which has been opening now what you have to do is in your cluster omega you have to uh, incorporate all the faster sequences okay so i copy this as i told you faster sequence is from the greater than sign i'm copying this control c control v or copy uh, then i paste it okay if this is clear then we go to uh, the next one this is the next sorry we copy this control C control V so control V can you see how it is okay can you see how it is it's all in one single line again one enter right now the next thing I'm going to do it a bit fast we, we single enter okay so I have equally Okay, all right so next is this sequence which is B. Okay, enter they're all one below the other then i'm going for the fourth head Control B. single enter uh all right and this is my last query sequence which is control me okay so i have now my query sequence and my top five hits um, after you do this then you uh, scroll down or uh, submit your job okay you can either get notified by email or just click on submit okay so i click on submit here so now what is going to happen is uh, the query sequence is going to be aligned with all the rest of the five sequences um, and uh, there will be uh, so a tree will be generated okay from all of this okay all right so here we have the cluster omega results in front of us what you see in front of you are the alignments all right uh, so these are your accession numbers these are your query sequence you can see it has been aligned with all the it has been aligned with all the rest of your uh, five sequences yeah you see that all right uh, now how to analyze this okay before that i will just do something else i will click on show colors now what is going to happen is uh, all those sequences which are um, um, uh, all the amino acids i'm sorry are going to be uh, given a particular color and so based on so basically every amino acid is given a specific color so this gives you much better uh, understanding of how the um, sequences are so uh, we have successfully made the um, alignment the multiple sequence alignment All right now it is time to understand the uh, uh, now it is trying to uh, time to interpret 
these multiple sequence alignment by looking at the phylogenetic tree. Uh, so you have, if you can see here, the branch length is cladogram. So now let's analyze this. Uh, if you look at all of these sequences, you will get to know that BAC is nothing but your query sequence. So now I'll be interpreting this tree. My uh, query sequence is closely related to AAA5989 uh, accession number. So I'll say um, my query sequence and this sequence, both of them belong to, uh, belong to one single clade. My BAC is also closely related or my query sequence is also closely related to AAV and AAX. Okay. Thus, I can say that uh, BAC, AAA, AAV and AAX all are part of a one single in-group. EAW and XP are an out-group. Thus, we can say they are distantly related to our query sequence. If I click as real, okay. Uh, it's, so if I click as real, you can see it's changed. So this is your phylogram. So based on the evolution and distance, you can see uh, all this thing being arranged. This is what is your phylogenetic tree and the interpretation of the phylogenetic tree. The more sequences I add, you will get much larger tree in this, okay? And much bit different interpretation of what your query sequence are. So this is your interpretation for your um, multiple sequence alignment using cluster omega.